All right, now nah, y'all know what time it is. We finna get off into some ratchet shit. Uh, hit the sub button. We almost at 200k. Other than that, I ain't got nothing for you. Let's get into it. I was born 1987. I ain't gonna hate on you with. Yeah. I was born in '87. Shit. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Hey, man, she don't look a day over 47, man. I promise you, bro. That is wild. 87? You is not going to disrespect 1987 like that, man, because that's the year I was born. We not finna start with that shit. No. Good. Y'all look like my kid. If Y'all look like what my kids would look like if I had kids. We are, though. Kids. What? We all love kids. You look gay. Hey, yo, what the... <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Say, bro, these kids be bad as hell, dog. Ain't no other way to explain it, man. One of my Facebook friends, he said he was uh talking to a lady at Walmart, like she asked him for help or whatever, and her 12 year old daughter cursed him out, and was trying to holler at her. The whole time, the mama was the one who asked him the question. Now it goes to show you that a lot of these kids' mamas don't raise them right, bro. Like that is crazy, right? These some badass kids right here, bro. <laughs> Hey, you know what though? We don't know if they daddy involved or not. He could be the reason why they act like that. But most guys come within two minutes on the first round. I don't like you. Most like, guys sound like a me. lot. <laughs> she said most dudes bust fast when they get in there. But listen, here's the thing. What happened when you put a hot dog inside a microwave? It busts. Duh, it's supposed to happen. But guess what? He still hit. And here's the thing, fellas. I'm gonna tell y'all some real talk. A woman who will get on the internet and say this right here, boy, I promise you, you go on a date with her, buku people gonna know who she is, man. Men running up on her like, what's up, love, man? You can't holler no more, huh? You can't get bad, huh? Man, that nigga didn't had your woman, man. Or your whatever. Today, I'm on my period, and when I was craving an argument with my boyfriend, I poured myself a room man, temperature go ahead, man. glass of water to hydrate my vocal cords because I'm about to lay it down. <laughs> the first thing I did when he woke up was I brought up something that happened six years ago. Come on now, dog. That still bothered me, and I never felt so refreshed and relieved after the argument. Say, bro, look here, bro. I've been a grown ass man for a very long time. I've been, you know, dealing with women for a very long time, dog. And I know this for a fact. Women love to argue. I don't give a shit what nobody say, bro. Women love to argue. It's like a, it's a pastime for them, bro. I ain't bullshitting with y'all. They love to argue, man. Straight up. He's really so smashed you on the He's really smashed on the back. He's really. He got me in a choke. So you oh, he likes this. So you a big player. Yeah. In my head, I didn't like it. Now look, this some real shit right here, man. That's why a lot of these women think that they better than what they is because dudes will definitely crack them, bro. Like, man, I didn't see women like that get snuck in, man. You know, I used to live in these apartments, man. And I remember my neighbor, though, he had an old lady and everything, but, and she was bad, bro. But like, I caught this man sneaking in this big old white girl. I'm talking about, she was wide as all outside. You see what I'm saying, bro? She get on a scale, that bitch say one at a time type shit. Like, bro, she was a big girl, man. And then we had thin ass walls man brother man was in there wan her ass out i'm talking about exploring that virginia real estate god damn it but my point is his old lady was bad and i at that time bro i ain't gonna lie to you i said boy you wild and you risking it for that but i know men bro like man, i guess niggas go through they droughts or whatever all the bad ones ain't answer and you know we got old faithful oh she kind of big but i could work with her <laughs> 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 that's kind of cold blooded right there dog so you know what's poppin', bro. Nigga, i don't know what's poppin'. Nigga, know what's up, scary nigga, don't, nigga, don't, nigga, don't. Nigga, don't. Nigga, Oh, he crazy. He's certified crazy. That's how you can scary ass. I ain't scared. Bitch ass nigga. 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 Bitch ass
I said it before and I'm going to say it again. When we all left high school, and I didn't make this up, but I've been repeating it since I heard it. Because it's right. When we all left high school, bro, they just let all the crazy people out and then tell us who was who. <laughs> you going to mess around and come across one of the crazy people that was separated from us in the general population in high school. And you're going to come face to face with them. And they're going to start scaling the wall, bro. And you're going to be talking shit. And then he going to do one of them old school wrestling moves on you. Hit you with one of them. You know what I'm saying, bro? Leave these people alone, bro. As soon as you see they crazy, bro, if you can't at least match their crazy, I don't think you want to balk up that tree, brother. Real talk. Leave that man alone, man. Let him fight another day. Because this man was up on a damn ceiling. Like, what's wrong with him, bro? The hell, bro? The joke will always be on men mm. when it comes to the conversation about body count. Claude Hammers. They make such a big deal about it. It's such a requirement that your body count is low and you're not ran through and blah, blah, blah. But the reason why the joke is always going to be on y'all is because you are never going to know a woman's real answer. You're never going to know. And the funniest thing about that is men are so oblivious to women and, and the ways of, of women that they really think they can look at a woman and tell if her body count is high or if it's low. Oh, and you need to sell that crap. A lot of men will marry a woman thinking she's good not understanding how much she used to, what they say, bust it, bust it wide open and lay it wide back in her day. Oh, bust it open. But because she carries herself as a classy woman and has been for the last 10, 15, 20 years, you think she's a good girl. Check the whole facts. I can assure you that the women who you think are good girls aren't, mm. and they and they never were. Mm. They may have changed or something, but they're they're not the innocent pure woman or women that you think hey up until right now i ain't got no problem with what she's saying bro i know a lot of dudes that thought the girl that they was with was some good women and i tried to tell them they not bro they ran through it and they still went through it with, with it and whatever happened happened bro so she got a point up until now mm. and the women who you think are the most promiscuous because she's what she wears booty shorts or she's always twerking or whatever those be the women a lot of times that men cannot get ever oh. like i literally can use myself as an example. I will hop on a plane, go to Miami, put on some fishnet stockings, uh, some booty shorts, and just be twerking all up and down the Miami Strip. And when men see me, they think, oh, she's probably easy. Look mm. at how she's acting. Zero men get my phone. Zero men even get my attention. Most of the time I tell them I'm gay or I'm married or I, I'm terrified of me. I will, whatever I feel like saying in that moment, depending on the guys, you will never get me. Imagine thinking I'm a whore. Twin, 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 wow. nigga. But y you can't even get this whore. This whore won't even give you eye contact. Mm. Yeah, this is my first discrepancy with what she got saying, bro. Men go after you when you dress like that because in the past they've been successful with those women. Usually we, you know, we recognize patterns like it go all the way back to middle school and stuff like that. The girl who sit behind you with her legs wide open and you turn back and you see it. You know what's up with her already. But the next girl to you, she prudish at the moment. You not going after that one. You going after the one who got her legs wide open. Letting it hang out. Come on, man. And since middle school, niggas been knowing that. Some niggas been knowing that since elementary. Yeah. <laughs> the joke is always going to be on y'all, right? Women know how to twerk, dance, drink be yelling hey at the club and be doing all of that all day and no man can get her none <laughs> i ain't gonna say that like, but literally none. good luck right so y'all really don't know and you'll never really know right y'all will put so many emphasis on oh her body count has to be low her and it's like you're never going to i can't say this enough you're never going to know unless she decides to tell you the truth mm. right steve harvey said no matter what, ne your number is never over three. Anything over three, no matter what age you are, no matter how many times you've been married, no matter how many baby daddies you got, three. Okay, that that's your answer, right? I, and I'm not saying I'm gonna. I've ever said three, but I'm just saying. Even a man said to not tell men the true number, because men. And that's why we don't rock They're with men Steve Harvey. Like handle the fact that you had a few a past before that the, they even met you. They're mad that they didn't meet you 10 years ago because you had a baby daddy or you were married or something. Like, y'all can't take these men seriously. And um, so I think guys need to humble themselves and y'all need to get over y'all insecurities 
and grow the a woman is never going to tell you her actual number and the one the women who actually do have a low number like that's one or two uh or three guy three men in her whole life or whatever those are women you most likely if you care about body count you're not going to get women like that anyways they're not, they're not going to be paying you any attention chances are they're probably still married to the same person from high school for the last 30 years anyways so you're not going to get those women <laughs> you can forget it you's like, a hater man women you don't know that are children i said hold up wait a minute basically so oh you got some nerves um better luck next time all right y'all so she said a lot right 10 percent of it i probably would agree with the other 90 percent, i'm sure most of y'all don't agree with it and i damn sure don't agree with it but here's the thing right there's this other content creator a much larger content creator than myself who basically had a paint a, a, a panel and someone came on it who actually knew her in real life and he spilled the beans now i haven't watched this video i actually got it from let me see who this person is because i want to go ahead on and give them their credit for bringing this video to light uh it's a guy whose channel is called the dumper forever single women get exposed by anton daniels caller she's a liar hmm let's go so listen you would think that she works at starbucks the way she gave us that cappuccino just a lot of cap she actually works at a truck stopper <laughs> some truck related job and guess what? One of her co-workers who actually have the scoop, who actually knows the real tea, as the women say, he called in. Let's listen to that. Uh, I was just trying to talk about Shorty in that video. Go ahead. What's your thoughts? Yeah. Shorty, you're a hypocrite, yo. Jesus Christ. Why you say that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we work together. Oh! What? <laughs> yeah, we 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 are hour up north from you. Shit, they got serious. <laughs> and they go bust it down from, in the uh, break room. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't, I don't. You know what I'm saying? She, she, a, she a nice tall glass of lemonade. You know what I'm saying? But slim thick. But nah, after you you would approach her like you know what I'm saying if you just see her and say what's up. But when you find out, yo, she got the uh, the exotic dancing from the past. You got the uh, recent, <laughs> like I said, she like most of her videos, she talk about men like crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? And then you need to leave that dope alone. And, oh, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess with no dude, no kids with the dude that she was just messing with that didn't, because they was they was engaged, but he was married with three young three young kids, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, say, you know what they always say, bro? They'll make rules for the dude that they really don't like. And they'll break them for the dudes they really do like so it is man he got three kids and he married uh-huh okay you might not want a man that got kids if he's not attractive enough he ain't got the resources the bread whatever the case may be but if he got all that going for himself you'll take that nigga if he got five six seven eight nine ten kids man shit and got serious boy mm -mm -mm. it is what it is god damn it <clears throat> so he was drawn because he went back to his he went back to his wife <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and like I said, he he didn't even leave his wife. He he went back, so that's when she was she was drawn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She didn't leave his wife, mm -hmm. but they were supposed to be engaged. He was supposed to, because what happened was the wife came up to uh, I can't say I ain't gonna say the name of the uh, truck no, don't say, don't say the location. Don't say the location. But uh, yeah, the wife came up here. You know what I'm saying? Got in her got in her face. <laughs> yeah, Bruh. and so that's when, and so he went back. You know what I'm saying? And so that broke that off. This is we gotta. I gotta put this on the floor because you know what I'm saying. Even in the video, <laughs> folks is up here uh, in the comment of that video. Folks, oh, you don't know her, or blah blah blah. <gasps> Bruh, she parked next to me in the morning every day. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, what do you think about this? Say, man, you know, everybody entitled to change their mind and their opinions and everything like that, bro. But you got to put it out there in the open, man. Straight like that, y'all. I know I said I wouldn't date men with children, but, you know, I had some time to reconsider it. You know, I think I might consider it if the circumstances was right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
<laughs> a lot of dudes say they wouldn't date a woman with kids, man. But then you hit a certain age and like, you know, okay, you ain't trying to some men, y'all, because y'all take shit for. You know, some dudes will be 40 years old and they don't want to date a 25-year-old woman. They want a woman who's over 30 just because she ain't still, you know, young and wild and all that kind of stuff. Even though a 30-plus-year-old woman can still act childish just like the younger ones can. But I've heard this out of grown men's mouth personally and in the comment section bro like a lot of dudes will say i don't got no problem with that especially you know if let's say she got kids and you know the dad is involved in the kid's life and he ain't really gotta financially support the kid like that dad got the kid half the month mom got him half the month you know what i'm saying i didn't heard dudes say that and at this point i really don't even be mad at him i just be like dog just know the risk man just know that it's a possibility she could go back to that dude and want their family back it's a possibility that you know he could still be smashing her on the side right it's a possibility bro you know you could fall in love with a child and then y'all break up and you never see that child again and that leaves your feelings hurt it's all kind of shit is possible i just tell people like this bro keep it real with yourself god damn it i ain't gonna tell you to go out there and do it because i know so many men who got burned by doing it but man you know at this time and age bro people gonna do what they want to do bro all you could do is put the facts in front of them and hope they they listen that's it but this was crazy bro what are the eyes of somebody calling anton daniel's show exposing her for what she really is man i can't call it like an alcoholic you know what i'm saying <laughs> women are more reproductively valuable accusations because we can only have one baby at a time you just and lost the a lot of right men now. want children so if you're dealing with the average man that wants children and the average woman that wants children the woman is going to be more valuable and i think that women have really forgotten this they have let the tables get turned around on them for them to really feel like the man is the prize how is the man the prize? You are the one that holds a baby in your system for 10 months. You're the one that has to risk your, your life. We're not just baby makers. We're not just wives. I talk about that all the time too. But in the very least, you're more valuable in the dating market because of your reproductive value. And But that's fouler. It's fouler. The man should be trying to prove why he should be the one, like I said, that takes you out of commission for nine to 10 months. Don't let these men fool you. Don't let society fool you. Don't let these desperate situations fool you into thinking, oh, I just got to give me a good man. No, a good man has to get you. Uh, You know, before I even get into what I want to say, I just want y'all to remember this is the woman a couple months back or a year ago who said she left the perfect man because she just didn't think he was perfect enough. And okay, whatever. All right, that was a whole lot of words, Salad. You know, obviously she's wrong. But let's figure out why she wrong. So I took it upon myself to Google what makes something valuable, right? It's four things that make something valuable, right? Uh, it's usable value, rare value, aesthetic value, emotional value. So I'm gonna go with the usable value because in this situation, we have to. Usable value pertains to the practicality of something. Essentially, does this fill a physical need? A can opener is a good example of this. It has a very functional purpose. An object's usable value is usually created by the engineers who designed and built it and they improve its usable value by making it work better or more efficiently in this case i would say mother nature or god whoever you believe in is the engineer in this case now hypothetically speaking we down to 30 individuals left on earth everybody's different nobody's related would you rather have let's say 29 women and one man or 29 men and one woman as it relates to repopulating the earth which one has more value the man obviously because he can get all of those women pregnant in the first week other way around <laughs> they ain't gonna have enough kids it's really that simple how can you be more valuable if you can't produce more results quickly like a man can it don't make no sense a man can repopulate the world if he got enough women not the other way around <laughs> that made no sense bro like people really don't use logic a lot of times bro